What is going on guys? Welcome to another video. In this video, I'm going to be giving you an honest review of the modpack Sevtech Ages while giving an overview of all its features. By the end of this 5 minute video, you will know if you should play Sevtech Ages or not. Let's get started. When playing Sevtech Ages, you'll go through the ages of human history in six different ages. The Stone Age, Bronze Age, Middle Ages, Industrial Age, Modern Age, and Futuristic Age. To do this, the mod pack adds a vanilla advancement system that acts as a guide to players but doesn't take away from the sandbox experience. Once all the necessary advancements for one age are completed, you will move to the next age. As you progress, some ores and items will be invisible and impossible to craft until you reach a certain point in the game. As you progress through the game, mobs will also become progressively more difficult and you will get access to more of the 257 mods installed. The Stone Age acts as a tutorial to the mod pack. You can expect simple, primitive items and crafting and rather weak mobs. In the Bronze Age, you get access to copper and tin, which can be used to make bronze. There are also slightly stronger mobs and magical elements await you. During the Middle Ages, there will again be stronger mobs like Endermen, and you'll have access to more ores such as iron and gold. During this stage of the game, you'll explore the game world, finding components to make a coal engine. The main goal during the Industrial Age is to create plastic by creating numerous new machines. At the end of the modern age, you will have landed on the moon and be able to visit the end. A lot of new complex machines are also now at your disposal. During this final stage of the game, you can explore everything the mod pack has to offer. A big part of this stage is about energy generation, for which you'll have a variety of options. There are also a ton of new, stronger mods and you'll be able to explore the solar system. I personally think this is a very fun mod pack to play and it's hard to get bored of. It's fun to play with friends thanks to the mod Together Forever which syncs progress with others in the world. Although I do have some negatives. For starters, the mod pack is very large and requires a lot of RAM to play. Meaning if you have a bad PC, well, uh. Now, it all boils down to the question, should you play it? Well, that's your decision. I don't care if you play it or not. This isn't sponsored. Toast to the ones here today Toast to the ones that we lost on the way Cause the drinks bring back all the memories And the memories bring back, memories bring back you